Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Tuesday within the octave of Easter. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Alex Vitualia SVD. Please stand as we begin the Holy Mass. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad Let all creation sing Let children proclaim to every land Hosanna to our King Sound the trumpet into the night The day of the Lord is near We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration, my dear friends, and offering all our intentions in this Holy Mass. We remember also those who have asked us to pray for them, especially the sick ones, the old ones, and those who are preparing for their board exams. A special way, we pray for... The physicians, licensure examinees will start their exams on Sunday. Let us now prepare ourselves to partake in this Eucharistic celebration. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for a certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. 
Now, when they heard this, they were caught to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whoever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from the dead and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Together, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. My dear friends, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang good morning. Happy Easter. We are still in the celebration of Easter, the octave, the eight days after the resurrection of Jesus because one day is not enough to celebrate that sacred feast of ours. 
And now we have heard Mary Magdalene weeping outside the tomb and she saw two angels. And one of them, it was Jesus. But uh, in uh, so many Nobel stories, the, some authors, playwrights, have this uh, favorite uh, topic on recognition scene, recognition scene. And one of those stories is the resurrection story. Mary could not have uh, known Jesus or recognized him, but when Jesus uttered her name, Mary, and then she turned, and so it was Jesus. And then she replied, Rabboni, which means teacher. And then it was her grief was turned into joy. And so Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and your but go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. And Mary went and announced to the disciples the good news. The Lord is risen. I have seen him. I have encountered him in a very personal way. Yes, my dear friends, that's the good news of the, of the resurrection. The Lord has risen. He is victorious over death. He is victorious over sin and any suffering in this world. My dear friends, yes, for us, we have only to give ourselves in trust, in faith, to the power of God. From the first reading, the fearful Peter was turned into courageous preacher. On the day of Pentecost, that is 50 days after the resurrection, Jesus said to the Jewish people, let the whole, let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. And to make our faith becomes active, two things are necessary. We have to do our part and, of course, to receive really the good news of salvation. It is said that the blessings of God are abound. For example, if you are invited to a feast, the food, sumptuous meal is prepared, but we have to take our share. We have to mingle with people and take the food that, that we want and enjoy the feast. We don't need to be passive just to be present and kumbaga magugutom ba tayo in the midst of the feast. We need to give our share. And so when people said, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Meaning, we have to follow the commandment of our Lord. And so, on that day, 3,000 were added to the disciples' those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. That's how the, the, the resurrection of Jesus works. My dear friends, yes, for us, we don't need to be a passive spectator. 
for we need to believe in the objective redemption, meaning the grace of God is there. That's objective, objective redemption. But we don't need to be a passive believer. We have the so-called also subjective redemption, meaning we must do our share. We must do our part. And every discipline in life, there's a rule. If we want to play basketball, we need to follow the rule of basketball. If we want to play volleyball, football, or what? There is a rule for every game and anything. And so, the play becomes meaningful if we do obey and follow the rule. It is the same in our spiritual life. My dear friends, Jesus is risen. That is really a good news for us. And we must do our share in having this feast being celebrated on a day-to-day -day basis. Please stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority in deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence to the Father. Father of the risen Lord, cast out our fears. Father of the risen Lord, cast out our fears. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the risen Lord, cast out our fears. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the risen Lord, cast out our fears. That all of us gathered here may remain faithful to our baptismal promises. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the risen Lord, cast out our fears. That the sick may be freed from their bodily and spiritual infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the risen Lord, cast out our fears. That the faithful departed may share in Christ's glorious resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the risen Lord, cast out our fears. For board and bar examinees and those who are taking academic, and other examinations. May God grant them the desires of their hearts and increase their faith in answers to their prayers. We pray. Father of the risen Lord, cast out our fears. For the sick and those in need of prayers, may God's abiding love sustain them to remain trusting in faith, steadfast in spirit, and resilient in hope. We pray. Father of the risen Lord, cast out our fears. For the urgent concerns of our community, the online prayer requests, and the intentions offered in this Mass, we implore God's infinite goodness and gracious blessings. We pray. Father of the risen Lord, cast out our fears. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions. O oh God, through the death of your Son, you gave us the hope of eternal life. Grant that through his resurrection, we may obtain the life we long for. We ask you this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Santo, 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 Dios makapangyarihan, Puspus ng lalati ang langit at lupa, Sana, o oh, sana, Sa kaitasan, pinapala ang narito sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, sa kaitasan. O sana, o sana, sa Kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Si Cristo ay gunitain sa arili ay inihain bilang pagkaitinumin pinagsasaluha natin hanggang sa siya Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, 
grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Jude Tadeus, Saint Arnold Johnson, Saint Joseph Renademetz, and all the saints on his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, Cardinal Advincula, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. We become daughters and sons of God through the sacrament of baptism that we have received. As one family, let us call to God our Father. Pagpapatawad namin Sa nagkakasala sa amin At huwag mo kami Ipahintulot sa tukso At iadya mo kami Sa lahat Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel.
my dear friends, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who became man and who offered his life for each one of us. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake in his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Nagsayat nagningning, pumisla pumindak ang mga bituin na likha ang lahat ng mga lupain pagibig mo ama ay hati. Please stand. If you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of St. Gertrude for the souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses offered throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, 
those in our homes and within our families. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen. Maraming salamat sa bawat isa sa inyo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless each one of you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace and proclaim the love of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Please kneel for the novena. Great Saint Jude in heaven's glory, patron of all of the souls, in our trials be a refuge, help us in our present tools, ever praying, interceding, desolations, endless pleading, sing the God magnificent. Hear thy client suppliant, sing the God magnificent. Hear thy client suppliant. Please turn to page 15, we invoke the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who instructed the hearts of your faithful people by the light of your Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please turn to page 30. The Ephesians of St. Jude, verse 21. Keep yourselves in the love of God. I love you, O Jesus, who is perfect charity, who in your essence is true God and true man, in whom is contained the treasures of the divinity and all the fullness of grace which descends to us upon this earth. I love you, Lord Jesus, who for love of me has made yourself like me, enkindle within me the flame of your sacred love which you did bring from heaven that loving you, I may grow into your likeness. I love you, divine Jesus, my Lord and Master, because you have redeemed and freed me, poor slave of sin, by your precious blood, of your sweet mercy, grant that I may enjoy the full fruit of your redemption. O sweetest Jesus, I implore that I may love you more and more. Most loving Redeemer, at your departure from this world, you did not wish to leave us orphans. In your compassionate love, you did institute the most holy sacrament of the altar, wherein you have given us yourself in order to draw our hearts to you and enrich us with the plenitude of your graces. In this sacred mystery, it is your desire to hear our prayers and to be our refuge in every need, our support in all, all difficulties our comfort in every affliction. You are wonderful, O Lord, in all your works, but in none more wonderful than in the sacrament of your love. With deepest reverence and awe, oh, we behold the divine majesty whom heaven and earth cannot contain, enclosed under the humble appearance of bread. Here, the creator and ruler of the entire universe condescends to dwell with the children of men and invites the poor and needy to come to him. O Jesus, our advocate, both high priest and Lamb of God forever, it was for our redemption and sanctification that you offered yourself upon the altar of the cross. In your boundless love, you desired that the sacrifice of salvation should be renewed daily throughout the entire world until the end of time, that through the merits of your passion, we may obtain the forgiveness of our sins and be filled with your grace and blessing. And every place there is a sacrifice, there is offered to my name a clean oblation. The Holy Mass is our only means of worthily adoring and thanking our Heavenly Father. Through this sacrifice, the divine justice is unceasingly honored and appeased, and the treasures of grace are open to us. O God, how impenetrable is your wisdom, how infinite your power, how boundless your goodness and love. Please turn to page 37. Novena prayers. 
O glorious apostles, Saint Jude the Deus, true relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute you through the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart, I praise and thank God for all the graces He has bestowed upon you. Humbly prostrate before you, I implore you through this heart to look down upon me with compassion. O oh, despise not my poor prayers, let not my trust be confounded. To you, God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most desperate cases. O oh, come to my aid, that I may praise the mercies of God. All my life I will be grateful to you and will be your faithful client until I can thank you in heaven. Amen. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray for us that before death we may expiate all our sins by sincere repentance and the worthy reception of the holy sacraments. Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostles, St. Jude Tadeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered your beloved master into the hands of his enemies has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the church honors and evokes you universally as the patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolations and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings particularly. We also pray for the following intentions. For God's blessings on the National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus and St. Jude Catholic School. For more vocations to the priestly and religious life. For board and bar examinees, those who are taking academic and other examinations, and all our devotees and their petitions. And that I may bless God with you and all the elect forever. I promise you, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Amen. Saint Jude Tadeus, pray for us. And for all who invoke your aid. Let us pray. O Saint Jude Tadeus, relative of Jesus Christ, glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for your virtues and miracles, Faithful and prompt intercessor of all who honor you and trust in you. You are a powerful patron and helper in grievous afflictions. I come to you and entreat you from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with your powerful intercession, for you have received from God the privilege to assist with your manifest help. Those who almost despair of all hope, look down upon me. My life is a life of crosses. My days are days of tribulation and my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my paths are strewn with thorns, and scarcely one moment passes, but are witnesses of my tears and sighs, uneasiness, discouragement, mistrust, and almost despair prey upon my soul. You cannot forsake me in this sad plight. I will not depart from you until you have heard me. O oh, hasten to my aid. I will be grateful to you all my life. I will honor you as my special patron. I will thank God for the graces bestowed upon you and will encourage devotion to you according to my power. Amen. Saint Jude Tadeus, pray for us. And for all who invoke your aid. O
Peter na gloria kibitam si Oh my God, I firmly believe that you are really incorporally present in, in the, the blessed, blessed sacrament, sacrament of, of the, the altar. altar. I, I adore, adore you here Peter. present from the very depths of my heart, and I worship your sacred presence with all possible humility. Oh my soul, what joy to have Jesus Christ always with us, and to be able to speak to him heart to heart with all confidence. Grant, O oh Lord, that I, having adored your divine majesty here on earth in this wonderful sacrament, may be able to adore you eternally in heaven. Amen. We include the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of April, for the role of woman. We pray that the dignity and immense value of woman be recognized in every culture, and for the end of discrimination, that they experience in different parts of the world. Together with our personal intentions, through the constant intercession of our beloved patron of hope, Saint Jude Tadeus, we all pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, O daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Tantum ergo sacramentum venere morcernui ed anticum documentum noboce Tritui prestet fides supplementum sensum defectui genitori genitoque lauset iubilasio salus honor virtus coque Sidet benedictio procidenti ad otroque comparsit laudasio. Amen. Amen. You have given them bread from heaven. Containing in itself all the life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of your passion, grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the name of God, Mary most, most holy. Blessed, blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. conception. Blessed, blessed be her, her glorious assumption. Blessed, blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and all his saints. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment the Please turn to page 43, Blessing for the Sick. Grant, Almighty and Eternal God, everlasting health to those who believe. Hear our prayers for the sick, for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and they shall recover. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of the world, through the merits in intercession of his holy apostle, St. Jude the Deus, and all his saints, show them favor and mercy. Amen. Blessing of the religious articles, please raise them. Lord, show us your mercy and love. And grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, let us pray to God, Almighty Father, that we may be transformed into Christ's image through the devout use of these signs as aids to prayer. May the Lord in His love and mercy cherish and reinforce with His blessing these tokens of your devotion and piety. And may you take up the course of the present life without offending anybody. And may you attain eternal life with joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless each one of you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to serve the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Leitare, Alleluia. Fia che mi ruiste portare, Alleluia. Resorexi, sicut dixi, Alleluia, ora pro nobis deium, Alleluia. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will celebrate the wonder of your name. For the word that speaks is a song of forgiveness and a song of gentle mercy and of peace.
Let us wake at the morning and be filled with your love And sing song of praise all our days For your love is as high as the heavens above us And your faithfulness as certain as the dawn I will sing forever of your love, O Lord For you are my refuge and my strength you fill the world with your life-giving spirit that speak your word. You are the mercy and the peace. And I will sing forever of your love, O oh Lord. Yes, I will sing forever of your love. 